Hey y'all, this is Robert with Armadillo Outdoor Adventures. I'm glad you joined me today. The other day I was in town, I went to an antique store and I picked up some old teal decoys. Antique stores, secondhand stores, pawn shops, a great place to find old hunting gear that you can work on a little bit and, and take home and, and you can use it. Good price. That's the best place to go. I use it a lot. decoys are going to need to be repainted. I'm going to repaint them. I figured I'd just make a video on how I do it. Why don't y'all join me? Take a look. In this little view, you can see a few shots of what I started with and what I end up with. Before we ever get into the painting, I want to start with a list of materials. brown, tan, and gray, and then we have the rusty red, I have the yellow, I have the green, and then there's a clear to seal it all up and blend the colors at the end. Keep in mind, as I spray these colors, I'm Dust in the color, dust in the decoy with the with the spray paint at about 10 to 12 inches away. If I need a darker color or a more heavier opaque color, I dust it several times. If I want the color to bleed from what's underneath it, I just dust it a little bit. Keep that in mind before you ever get started. start with is the black. I spray the black kind of heavy through the midsection and let it fade out from end to end. This black underneath everything as it fades through the colors on top gives your decoy some depth and it gives it a little bit of, uh, of detail and it, it really makes the other colors stand out. The next color I use is the gray. I paint the bottom of the midsection in the gray and I dust it where the black will just fade, the black just shows through the gray. we shoot the brown. We shoot the top of the back in the brown where the wings come together. We try to keep off of the gray but as with any of these colors a little bit of overspray isn't going to hurt it. From there we use the tan color. We spray the breast and let it fade into the gray on the sides. After this we start using our templates. This is where it really gets cool and everything starts to come together and it starts to look like a green. Day.
to the rear. We take our templates, we cover the body, we shoot the, the head of it red. Just be sure and remember to dust it so that the darker colors on, on the bottom bleed through and this gives feather detail. The next color we use is the hunter green. We paint the stripe on the head and a little bitty bit of green tip on the end of the wings of these things. Then we're going to go to the yellow. The yellow is basically to give the green a little bit of depth on the head. If you just missed a little yellow, you can see in the video where I had a little bit of a problem with my yellow and I came back with the green to, uh, to tone it down some. Be sure when you spray yellow, you spray very, very lightly. We just barely, we just want a hint of yellow is all we want on the head of this duck. After the yellow, I go to white. You can see the you can see the templates here. I've got a I've got an outline of the green on the head. There is the tip of the green spot on the wing gets white, and then there's the, the two stripes on each side of the duck, right at the edges of the gray. You can see the templates that we've cut and how I use them here. If the gray on the sides needs to be toned down, now's the time to do it. Just dust it ever so lightly with the white on top of the gray, and it'll tone it down really nicely. The next thing we do is go back to black. We're gonna paint the bill. You can see the templates that I've cut out. I cover everything but the bill. I made my little shapes to cover the bill. Shoot it with the black, and it looks really nice. All of this is really, really simple. Anybody can do it. our Sharpie. Our Sharpie is going to give detail and depth to the decoy as we get done. I start with the eye. I color the eye in black. Then I go to the little black spots on the breast. This decoy has raised spots on the breast for the black. Um, some of them don't, some of them do, uh, but I go ahead and color these in with my Sharpie. After that, I lightly mark the center of the vein of the feathers on the back of the duck, which would be the wing feathers if it was a real duck. I just lightly mark down the center of it. And then anywhere where a fold comes together or, or where two parts of, it, of the decoy or where the duck would be, or anywhere where two colors come together, I lightly touch them to give a shadow. And then at the, at the edge of the feathers, 
on the midsection where it's gray. You can see where I where I give a light little line with my sharpie. I don't put a very sharp line, not not a very heavy line, just a really sh really light little line. After that, I accent the black spots on the tail or the, the back end of after that. After that, I accent the back end of the tail with black. And then I go to the head and I, I put the shadows in the head with the with the marker ever so lightly on either one. Last of all, I use the clear. I put two or three light coats of clear over the entire decoy. This protects your decoy when it's bouncing around in the bag against all of the other decoys. But you don't want to put a heavy coat on it. Several light coats because a heavy coat will reflect light as the sun hits it. You want to have a subdued effect just like a feather. The clear also makes all of the colors come together and all of your detail makes it all stand out together. You'll see what I'm talking about whenever you do this. In this clip you see my freshly painted decoy next to a Dakota decoy. You can tell mine's not too bad at all. I wouldn't mind using these decoys even if I'm taking a climb. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me that you gave up your valuable time to watch what I'm doing. I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe, to like, and to comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what kind of decoys you would like to see repainted next. Thanks again, and I hope to see you on the water soon. Thanks for stopping by. All criticism is welcome. Please remember that there are ladies and children watching, so keep it clean. Please remember to shake the hand of a veteran, a police officer, or an emergency worker if you get the chance. Thanks again. I'll see you on the water.